you a nigga on the internet just the other internet on this point uh, yo nigga i'm not gonna talk to you what's up hey anyways what's up what's happening it's k we back in this thing k show good each sleep with a cut up patron you know the little nigga on the tongue last subscribe help your boy i help your boy girl i'm a little bit you know what i'm saying short on time so we're gonna make this quick so you see the little nigga right is this dude who he pulled up to the sheriff a part of the whole young thug gunner like why is so rico and diamond and he pulled up on him like hey if you don't let thugger thugger jeffrey my nigga sex out this bit nigga you and your family dead <laughs> yo i was astounded <laughs> i don't know if this nigga's a fan if his family member locked up too i don't know but the fact with so much confidence <laughs> yo I, I don't know whether to laugh at this nigga or be like hey listen he wild but i respect how that nigga came i respect his pippin in here i don't know okay <laughs> I don't know now it was in general stupid so now his ass locked up he facing terrorist charges and i'm just looking at this shit like what the fuck is going on now if he's just a fan of young thug what the fuck you doing and i don't need the rest of y'all fans to be doing this but if he knows somebody I, like nigga atlanta they probably know each i don't fucking know his family i'm confused why would you say this you don't like young thug music that much like you really want music from this nigga that much you gonna get locked up for him I'm astounded, bro. I know niggas be trolling online, but this is ridiculous. I never seen no bullshit like this. Nigga, 6 9 could never. <laughs> Yo, 6 9 could never. Bro, let's just get into this. You already know who it is. It's K A. K show good. He sleep with a cut of up a turn. You know the little nigga wanna turn you heard me. I ain't got time to censor myself. I'm talking my business. So right now I'm reading this little article. The mother of the team who did that, basically, by the way, the names is ridiculous. But anyways says he has a mental illness which even if he doesn't this was would be the play i would do like i'm not letting this little nigga get time i'm just saying he has a mental illness hey don't get this nigga time like dead ass i'm pretty sure that i'm not gonna sit here and say he he's just i just believe he's just 100 good if he does have a mental illness my bad but like again i'm believing this is a play this is just pure speculation off my part you know what i'm saying but anyways this type of body. He faces terrorist counts after alleged allegedly threatening to kill officials if the rappers weren't released. His cousin was named in the YSL and Dime. Okay, so his cousin part of I yeah, because one his name was similar, okay. To one of them. So Young Thug and Gunna are already under immense pressure as they have both been denied bond in the Rico case stacked in gangstum. Also, there's reports somebody snitching. I did a video on that. Go check that out. Anyways. And 26 of their alleged uh, associates. But then a teenager jumped into the controversy with threats against the Gwinnett County Sheriff. We previously reported that Quartavius Mender. Quartavius. Nigga, that name ridiculous. <laughs> An 18-year-old fan who took to social media to threaten to kill Sheriff Pat Labat, Labat. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your last name. The sheriff's wife, a clerk, and the Atlanta Public Schools Police Chief, Ronald Applin. Mender reportedly demanded that the rappers and their crew be released, but instead he was arrested and tackled with 23 counts of terroristic threats. We take these kinds of brazen threats seriously, Sheriff, Sheriff Labat said in a statement. Social media, cyberbullying, and hiding behind a keyboard will not protect someone from criminal prosecution, Labat added. Our investigators are diligent in seeking individuals who mean to do harm to anyone. And I am grateful to them for ensuring the safety of myself, my wife, and all citizens of Fulton County. Now, Mender's mother has come forward with claims that her son suffers from a mental illness and isn't involved in any gang activity. It was noted by 11... 11 alive new what type of new anyways that mender's cousin has been named in the wild so rico indictment yeah there's a nigga with the same name so this is his mother speaking this is a quote from her my son is dealing with mental health and also he's grieving you know said i don't malika i'm not even gonna try to say the last name his brother was killed in september from a hit and run my son is really a person that does need help in a jailhouse call with mender uh, Ele Eleven Alive asked about the social media threats. M Mender denied that he was the person responsible and refuted claims that he is in a gang. Hey man, listen. His cousin in jail, he want his cousin out. You know, he be bumping Young Thug. You know what I'm saying? That shit get the energy going. He be vibing. He be bigging back, being bull in the crib. So of course, man, he need that music. He need that music. I'm mad at him. But in all seriousness, bro. 
this we love young thug we love gun i love them too i want them niggas out i want them niggas making music but at the end of the day we got to realize this is a case they are saying these guys are linked with murder and gang activity this is not going to be a simple situation in my opinion gunner who i believe is like the most innocent he is just has one count for for being associated with these people i believe like he's an innocent nigga in my opinion right and they say hey nigga you're trying to be 2023 i personally think like the lowest they could give that nigga is one to two years if they give him more than that i'll be like all right bro you bugging this nigga don't do shit but that's just me. I don't know. I'm not fucking from Atlanta. I don't know what the fuck these niggas do. And I feel bad for them. Don't get me wrong. No, I don't. But that doesn't mean just because we love them as performers. Your ass as a fan has to go like, I'm going to go do this if you don't free my niggas. And like, listen, regardless, I don't give a fuck you. A square, a hood nigga, whoever the fuck you is. If you say you want to harm my life, I will take you seriously. I don't give a fuck. I'm on keyboard, whatever, nigga. We on business. We on time, man. Fuck all that. So I can understand the sheriff in that thing. I'm not saying I'm the friends of police, but I can understand a regular human being. You saying that to a regular human being, you're like, oh, hell no. So I ain't even mad at it. So now we just really got to look at this situation. Now, again, I feel like this is a play. I feel like the mom is pushing the, hent the mental health card so this nigga doesn't get time. I feel like that. Now, in the case, if he did lose like his loved one, my condolences to them as well. And it does look bad that his cousin is named in the indictment. I'm not going to lie. Like, well, yeah, I took in the names and I'm like, yeah, you kind of sound like another nigga that's part of this case. So, hey, we're going to see what happened with that. They clearly going to use that against your ass. I'm pretty sure when the cousin go up for his, like, court case and they're going to be doing this little thing in the court. Because, of course, we care about Thug and fucking Gunner because they the they're artists. But when the cousin go up there, I don't know if he's an artist as well, but he go up there, he go talk to them. He's like, hey, but your cousin threatened to take people's lives if we didn't free y'all. I know they're going to use that against him. So we're going to see how this going to play out. But right now, this case is just messy. It is really messy at this point. But like I said, you could be a fan and wish Thug and Gunner out. Wish them the best. But don't go out there and say you're going to do something to somebody, okay? Because some of y'all ain't really about it. And honestly, it's not your fight, okay? Do not end the streets with these niggas, okay? But anyways, or I could be wrong. This little nigga could be there. But for the regular non-niggas that's not with these niggas, hey, you already know what it is. But hey, put your comments down below. Check out the links in the description. Check out the other videos. I did say I was pressed for time, but I'm sitting here talking. But whatever. Hey, it's your friendly neighborhood KA hey, signing off for today. The Black TJ. They while doing this thing. My name ring bells like Quasimodo. Hit like and subscribe if you want to hear a little bit more. Though. I'm gone. Shlamzoom, peace, y'all. I was gone. Ay...